This week we're going to talk a little bit about email etiquette and for those of you that like to forward millions of messages to each other learn to use the blind carbon copy you'll help cut down on spam. So in today's tip I'm going to show you how to use the blind carbon copy in at least five different email programs hopefully covering your program at least giving you the tools to learn how to do it in your program. So this is Microsoft Outlook 2007. You've got the 2 and you've got the CC. The BCC or the blind carbon copy is a tool that when you put people's addresses in the blind carbon copy it does not show up when you send the email. So if you send it to 35 people it gets received as to unknown recipients or to undisclosed recipients. You've received those types of mails before where it says undisclosed recipients. That's because the person sending the email learned how to use the blind carbon copy. So again, here we're in Outlook. You have the 2 and the CC. If I click on any one of these buttons, that brings up my address book. And then if I want to add somebody to the blind carbon copy, I click BCC here at the bottom. And then I can double click on as many names as I want. And they will all go in the blind carbon copy. In Microsoft Outlook, if you want the blind carbon copy to show as a field on your new emails from now on, click the Options tab here in Outlook 2007, then click the Show BCC, Blind Carbon Copy. Now let's move to Outlook Express, or if you're using Windows Vista, Windows Mail. Again, we have the 2 and we have the CC, or the carbon copy. If you want to add the blind carbon copy field, click View from the Menus, click All Headers and then you have the blind carbon copy and like Outlook if I click on either any one of these buttons and double click addresses from my address book they automatically get added to the email so that's Outlook Express slash Windows Mail and Windows Vista if you're using Mozilla Thunderbird or in this case I'm using the Mozilla Sea Monkey they're both very much similar programs to get to the blind carbon copy, you click on the two header over here on the left, and you choose blind carbon copy from there. And then as you type in people's names, they show up in the blind carbon copy. Or again, accessing the address book from Thunderbird or SeaMonkey, I can find their addresses here, click on them, click the blind carbon copy over here. And that's the way you add blind carbon copy to Sea Monkey or Thunderbird. If you're using Yahoo email and you want to send blind carbon copy, right over to the right hand side of the to field, there's a show BCC. And if I click that, I get the blind carbon copy box there. And again, if you're using the address book from Yahoo mail, you click on any one of these buttons. Again, we're doing blind carbon copy. And then you just simply select the people from your address book, click OK, and they get dropped into your blind carbon copy. And lastly, if you're using Gmail to compose your email and you want to do blind carbon copy, they have the Add BCC right here underneath the To field. You click that and you type in your email addresses there. And when you send your email, no one knows who it was sent to. So there's how you do blind carbon copy. Learn it, embrace it, use it.